If you've been watching this channel, you might know that <laughs> I am kind of on a Stephen West kick. Right now, it seems like I am, I'm really wanting to cast on all the Stephen West patterns. I mean, right now I'm knitting my bubble cardigan, which this is still quite the work in progress. Um, so yeah, that, that I foresee is going to take a couple more weeks, but I'm already thinking about using some scrap yarn that I have left over from my Prairie Lace hat and some other scraps that I have bopping around in my stash uh, to cast on the Marled Magic Shawl. A few of you asked down in the comments whether or not I was thinking about joining Stephen West's upcoming MCAL, his mystery knit along. And if you're not familiar with what a mystery knit along is or an MCAL, uh, it, it's exactly what it sounds like. It's a mystery knit along where the designer, in this case, Stephen West, designs a pattern and the knitters who want to partake in it have no idea what the finished object is gonna look like. I mean, that's the whole fun of it where, you know, you just knit this thing and you don't know what the end outcome is gonna be. And I believe over the month of October, every week he's going to release a new clue. Every week as you knit along with the released clues, your shawl just keeps growing and growing and the shape reveals itself eventually and if you've never tried it before I would I would at least recommend giving it a go um, because if you love surprises then they are they can be a lot of fun truth be told I've only done um, two mystery knit alongs in the past and both were Helen Stewart patterns um, if you're not familiar with Helen Stewart she's a wonderful knitwear designer I, I seriously this woman cannot design a pattern that I do not like the first pattern was the snow melt shawl and the second pattern was her Impressionist shawl. The Impressionist shawl was very, very special because Helen actually approached me at Rhinebeck asking if I would like to collaborate with her on, on, the, on the MCAL. And I, of course, you know, twist my arm, I could not say no. So she designed the pattern and I dyed the yarn for it, um, but I, partook in the MCAL, so I dyed the yarn for it, but I had no idea what I was knitting out of it. So <laughs> all that to say that I truly enjoy those mystery knit alongs, but um, I will be totally honest with you guys. The only reason why I believe I enjoyed Helen Stewart's uh, MCALs is because I am a true fan of her patterns. I thoroughly enjoy everything I knit, knit of hers. Nine out of 10, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna like the outcome. <laughs> so whereas I feel like Stephen West is an acquired taste. You know, I, there are some patterns of his that I absolutely adore and love and think are brilliant, but then there are some where I'm just like, mm, I would never wear that. Anyway, I wanted to hop on here and chat with you about MCALs in general, you know, how I personally feel about them. And if you are thinking about hopping on an MCAL or, you know, just conflicted about whether you want to, I just kind of wanted to open up the conversation, if you will. Well, you know, I do love a good surprise. Um, when it comes to knitting, knitting is so such a, for me, it's a commitment, you know, especially a shawl, anything larger than a hat, pair of mittens, or even, I mean, even mittens, that's kind of a commitment, but like something quick like a hat, fine, but um, when you're talking about a shawl or a garment and you attach the word mystery to it, I get a little bit, I get a little bit, now I'm getting a little verklempt. I think it really helps. You know, if you, if there's a designer out there that you absolutely adore, you love their aesthetic 100%, anything that they create, you know you are just going to love. Like case in point, Helen Stewart, I, I can knit all of her patterns and be very, very happy for the rest of my life. Helen, if you're watching. Then there are some designers like Stephen West, who is a wonderful human being. I've met him in person several times and he just, the guy, you just want to hug him all the time. There are a lot of his patterns that I want in it, and then he comes out occasionally with their patterns that don't really, don't really resonate with me, and that's okay. For me, when it comes to MCALs, it's the commitment that's attached and the fear of not knowing if I'm actually going to like the finished object. So when some of you asked me in the comments whether or not I was thinking about joining his uh, Shawlography MCAL for 2021, I wasn't intending on it. I really wasn't intending on it, but you know, it got me thinking about, you know, why I don't enjoy MCALs, and you know, for the reason I just stated, you know, just there there it's a lot it's a lot of time to knit a shawl and yeah what what if i don't like it but if you've watched this channel for quite some time you know you know how much i love a good challenge and i thought this might be a good opportunity to just you know what broaden my horizons, take a risk, let the chips fall where they may, and see what happens. I mean, I am kind of up for an adventure, a new experience, and I think that, again, this is a great opportunity. So, you know, twist my arm. <laughs> I am going to join the 2021 Stephen West Shawlography MCAL, and whoever wants to come along with me, you are so welcome to join. So, 
I cannot wait. I'm hoping to learn some new techniques. I feel like he's always upping the ante when it comes to either shawl shapes or uh, fabric textures or color combinations. And he, ju he just keeps knitting exciting, which I really appreciate. And you know what? I could use a lot more of that in my life these days. He does drop a few clues as to what the, the knit along is going to entail. So he does, he does have some videos out. I'll link to them below or up in the doobly-doo if you want to check it out. But he kind of guides you in uh, choosing your color palette. So it requires five skeins, five different color contrasting skeins of fingering weight yarn, which clearly, clearly I've got <laughs> in my stash. And I would love nothing more than to bust through some of that stash. There's some colors in there that I purchased a long time ago that, you know, maybe are not so much to my liking anymore, but I love, again, the challenge of finding finding different colorway combinations to make them work, to make them fit in my wardrobe. And I know many of you have actually uh, requested a video um, because, because Stephen West is known for his, you know, very bright, colorful, uh, colorway selections in his projects. So if that's not your thing and you're looking at a Stephen West pattern and think like, oh, I could never knit something like that. That's too bright and colorful. Um, I am thinking about doing a video on how to see past that and translate those colorways into something that's more your speed, more your style. Um, I think that would be a great thing to chat about with you guys and demonstrate. Um, again, there's nothing wrong with like bright colors, contrasty colors, muted colors. Like we all have different tastes and styles. And if I can help you guys see, you know, look at a pattern that you potentially want to knit but you're not sure um, you know what colorways to choose I you know if I can demystify that for you I, I am here for it I I am super stoked I hope you guys are too let me know in the comments down below um, if you are joining in on this MCAL how do you guys feel about MCALs have you done an MCAL before are you thinking about doing MCALs do you absolutely hate MCALs and refuse to do them let, let us know all the details in the comments below I want to I want to start a conversation around this if you're new here and you haven't already consider liking and subscribing I put out videos to your viewing pleasure every week and until the next one have an amazing day and I'll see you next time. Bye!